here with Balance Pack Canine Training. I'm here with Mr. Amos today. He's like a husky mix dude. Amos, where are you? Where are you, boy? There he is. We're gonna be doing some e-collar box work today. So what that means is I'm working with the mini educator remote collar, has 100 levels. We're working on heel today. So basically, I'm gonna be walking in a box formation. So 90 degree angles are at each corner, right? So every time I get to a nine, uh, that 90 degree angle, I'm going to turn and I'm gonna tap on the remote collar on his working level, which is probably gonna be like a seven or eight. And I'm gonna be giving him a little bit more leash than I normally would with just a prong collar walk because I kind of want to set him up to fail. Like I want him to kind of get out of that sweet spot of the heel because then I can give him pressure and let him know where I need him to be. As he gets better at this, when I press the button, it'll just be taps. So it'll be like tap and turns on the corner. Um, in the beginning, I'm assuming that I'm gonna be having to hold the continuous pressure down for a bit, a couple seconds till I get him where I want. Once I get him where I want, which is like his head right by my side, I let go of the leash and the e-collar pressure at the same time. So this works with the concept of pressure and release. Um, when you do box work like this, it just gives you a lot of corners, turns to practice on. So that's the beauty of that. Here's box work. I'm walking in a box and I'm doing these sharp 90 degree turns. And as you can see, like I, I basically, he's on the outside, I'm on the inside. I basically plant my left foot and then make a dramatic step over to the right. And as I'm doing that, every time I lift my hand up, I'm pressing the continuous button. It's right there. I'm pairing it with leash pressure. I can be more gentle on the leash pressure if I'm bringing in the remote collar because that just adds, you know, it adds pressure in, which is kind of nice. There's so many 90 degree turns when you do the box work that it just really helps if dogs are pulling to just keep reminding them that they need to pay attention and stay at your side in that heel. Every time I am pressing the button, I say heel. If he also like creeps ahead, which he's done several times, I'm kind of back on the button with the leash pressure, kind of guiding him back. It's pretty simple. It's great for young dogs and pulling dogs. It's also a great first exercise to start dogs on the remote collar. The walk is so much better after that box work. He's, um, heel. Good. See, I bring in my e-collar pressure right here. I'm using my thumb because I'm holding the phone and it's just a lot easier on my arm. So that's, that's what we want. We don't want to be pulled by a Husky. No, it's not good. It's not good. Um, we want a nice, pleasant walk. And it's also really good for him. If he can kind of chill out on this, on his walks a little bit more, he's going to be, just a lot less amped up and not overly aroused. So that's what we want. 